Right guys, so you just catch the end of one of my vlogs that I'm making a couple of weeks ahead of this video coming out. I just thought I'd explain this week what we are going to be doing. So at the beginning of this session, um, we're going to be starting to advance, advance, advance some of our handling training. So we're going to start to do a tricky back retrieve with the left and a tricky back retrieve with the right, which I'm going to explain a little bit more in a second. And we're also going to be doing the beginnings or the second part of what I do, which is called spit training. I do not teach this to, to clients or novices it's just for an advanced level, but I am in this vlog series trying to show you what I am doing. And it's not always going to be the same as what I teach my clients. I'm just trying to give you a true reflection. The problem with this spit training, get it wrong and you can completely destroy your retrieve, but it's an advanced level. It means I can make the dog do whatever I want at a later stage. Right, so I thought I'd try and explain what I'm talking about with this tricky back and the left. So up to now, whenever I've sent the dog back and I'm gonna try and do this backwards to make it clear. So I'm doing a back that way and I'm doing a left. Up to now, I've always had the dog turn away from this retrieve that's out to the left. Getting a dog to turn with the same hand, so a back retrieve of my left, when there's a left hand retrieve out, is really, really hard to do. Same on the other side. So if I've got a back retrieve and a right, up to now I've always turned the dog with my left hand away from this retrieve. So now I've been trying to get the dog to turn the same way when there's a right hand retrieve out. Your dog will naturally always want to go out for that left or that right. It won't want to turn and go back, which is why at the beginning stage we're always turning the dog away from this retrieve. If there's a left retrieve, turning the dog away from it. But now we have to get to the point where I want to do what's called the three card trick. And that's when I've got a retrieve to the right, a retrieve to the left, and I can choose whether I want that, that, or the back retrieve, which either hand I want to send the dog back with. So ultimately I am choosing which I uh, retrieve I want and with which hand. And that is not an easy thing to do. It might look easy on camera, but it's really, really tough to do. But that's what I wanted to explain before you watch it, because otherwise it might look like without you concentrating what's ha actually happening, it might look the same as everything else that I've done. Also remember, gun dog training or any specific training for dogs is very repetitive. You have to repeat, 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 repeat. Probably by the time Charlie's finished, I probably will have done thousands of retrieves with him. But what's key is I'm not ruining all that hard training by just letting the dog do what it wants the rest of the time, which is often where people go wrong. Anyway, hope you enjoy this vlog episode. Right guys, so in this session, I'm gonna progress uh, the retrieve on slightly now. Um, we're doing a slightly trickier back retrieve with a bit more distance. So we'll see how this goes. Right. Good boy. So I'm working on the delivery a little bit now. I'll shoot past him and then I'll stand up. Sit. Charlie, sit. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Heel. Sit. Put that retrieve out. Charlie, sit. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Ah, ah, ah. Here, sit. Good boy. I try not to communicate with him too much because actually if I talk to him too much, he tends to mess around more. Right, right. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Right ah, 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 ah. Here, here, here. Sit. Now, the reason why I don't blow my stop whistle when he's in front of me is because I'm teaching him a spit command on the stop whistle. So if I blew the stop whistle in front of me uh, when he sat, he would spit the retrieve out now, and I don't obviously want that. That's for something else. So I just use a verbal sit when that happens. Sit. Charlie, sit. I've got to uh, move up to a bigger space soon because this is too small for him now. This space, sit, sit. Good boy, good boy. That's going to get better, Charlie. It always goes better when I don't film it. That's pretty standard. All my online clients would tell you that as well. <laughs> right. 
Good boy. So we're going to turn that round now. Here, here, sit. Eventually, I won't move. I won't make that little pirouette. But at the moment, it stops him overshooting me. Hey. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, ah, ah. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Here. Good boy. Sit. Right. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, 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 ah. Sit. 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 Good boy. Well done. Good boy. That will get better. Eventually, it'll be Charlie. Eventually, that'll be nice and neat. Sit. That's nice. He turned sharp and then ran. When they're a novice, they'll tend to turn and sit, turn and run at the same time. But when they get better, they turn and then run. Sit. So this is the tricky one now, especially with a bit more distance. Right. Good boy. Really pleased with that. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, 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 ah. Here. Sit. Sit. Charlie. Sit. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. So I made him think I might send him back with my right hand that time and then change my mind and use this hand instead. Sit. Charlie. Sit. Good boy, well done. Good boy, well done. Good boy. Good boy. Heel. Sit. So you will have noticed there that I'd put in a loud clap. And that's to slowly start working towards the dog associating hearing a retrieve go out and there being a bang later. Right. Ah, 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 ah. So he still made a mistake there. Gonna bring him back to the spot. Good boy, sit. Try again. Right. Good boy. Good boy. He's still gonna make the odd mistake. It's fine. It's all learning. <laughs> sit. Good boy, well done. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So we're gonna do some interesting work now. So I've covered this a little bit. It's basically, anytime he hears the hump whistle, he's allowed to pick it. If I blow the stop, he has to stop. So I'm going to take his lead off first. <clears throat> good lad. Good lad. Oh, I'll drop that one. Good boy. Good boy. Here. Charlie. Charlie. Here. Good boy. We can do this on the floor, Sarah. Good boy. So on the stop. Ah. On the stop whistle, he has to spit that. This is the problem. I don't normally talk when I'm doing this, so I might go a bit quiet now. Here we go. All the time he hears that hum whistle, he can pick it. Good boy. Well done. If I blow the stop whistle, he must sit. If the, whistle, if the retrieve's in his mouth, I've now got him to the point now where he'll spit it out for me. Good boy. Leave that. Good boy. So now I can leave, tell him to leave it. Sit. Ah, ah, sit. See, again, I wouldn't normally talk in between this, so I wouldn't have these problems. Sit. As soon as I blow that hum whistle, he's allowed to pick it again. Now, when you're doing this, if the dog shows any hesitation of not, of not going straight for it, you don't try and stop them. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Now I don't teach this to novice people. I'm trying, I'm showing you because it's what I'm doing, but I don't teach it at a novice level because it's so easy to mess this up. Good lad. Good lad. Yeah. Ready? Leave that. Because right, I, normally I would go around the other side and call him away from it so he doesn't have to go of it. So he went to try and pick it again then. It all happened a bit quick, but he then did come back. So I give him the release there to pick that again. He wants a drink. Let me see if he wants a drink first, because he keeps going for the water bowl. Cut them all like this, and then I'm going to show you something else.
and he's coughing now. Why are you coughing? Ready? Yesterday was perfect. As soon as you get your camera out, <laughs> you have a few problems. Leave that. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to go to a ball now. I'm going to go to a ball. Unfortunately, someone's decided to cut their grass when I'm trying to film, which is less than ideal. Here we go. Do that. Good boy. Good boy, Roger. Right. Sit, Charlie, Charlie. Yeah, sit. Heel, heel. So I've taken the lead off now. Right. So I'm just going to let him have some straight sends first. Of course, when I'm talking again, I'm not always doing my whistle commands right because I have to spit a whistle out, don't I, Charlie? Here. Sit. Right. Hey! Good boy, well done. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Here. Charlie, Charlie. Here. Sit. Charlie, here. Sit. Right. Good boy, good boy, good boy. I don't know if you saw that. Here we go again. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Sit. Charlie, heel, heel, sit. Right. So I don't want to be stopping him all the time, otherwise he'll stop trying to pick it. So I let him have one, sit. Right. Leave that. Good boy, good boy, good boy, well done. Good boy. Let him run in on this one. Good lad, keeps it all fun. Good boy, good boy. Charlie, give me that here. Sit, sit. One more stop. Leave that. Good boy. Good boy, good boy, good boy, well done. Good boy, well done. Anyway, bit of demonstration of teaching the stop whistle. But this is more for later on, that I need to be able to stop the dog no matter what. If I'm picking a bird and it's alive, or a bird runs and it's going near a road, most dogs, once they're locked onto a bird, will not stop, okay? So I train at a very high level at the beginning. I get them stopping, and this will progress through all the different stages. But the first stage, I need to be able to stop the dog at any point, even if he's over the top of the retrieve, and I need to be able to stop him even if the retrieve's in his mouth. So being able to make him spit a bird out or spit a dummy out, leave that, pick it, whatever you want, ultimately, it means I'm in control, doesn't it, Charlie? Right, one more, I'll let you run in. Good boy, good boy, good boy. He's got his puppy teeth coming through at the moment, so he's fumbling a bit. But once they come through in the next couple of months, you'll be good, won't you? Good boy, Charlie. Taking it out of my bag. Well done. Well done. Well done. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this latest vlog episode from Charlie's training. Just remember, you don't need to be doing the same level as me at the same point. I'm always saying to my online clients, if you are doing what I'm doing at 10 months, when I was doing it four months, I would still be very, very pleased. I do work at a very, very quick pace. Don't forget that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and if you have any questions, perhaps drop them in the description below and I'll do my best to help you. Anyway, happy training guys.